Medical laboratory science is a professional course, but it's a behind the scene professional course because more than half of the work you do do not get seen by people on the outside and so people tend to not really know about medical laboratory science. Therefore, we are kind of getting awareness all thanks to COVID-19 that brought us out to the world. Now, being a medical laboratory science is a professional course. It still requires professional accreditation, professional certification, aside getting the degree itself. So what I'm trying to say today is that from the title of this video, you already know what we're here for. We're here to talk about the schools in Nigeria that have full accreditation to teach medical laboratory science. Now, settle down. Let's begin. Now, there are two types of accreditation. We have the full accreditation and the provisional accreditation but for the sake of time i would only be explaining to you guys what full accreditation is today so yes and i would be looking down at my laptop so let me start by defining full accreditation full accreditation is a formal recognition given to educational institutions which is universities in this case that have met the specific standard or requirement or criteria that has been set by the establishing bodies, that is the council, to teach medical laboratory science. And we also have provisional accreditation, but that's not our focus for today. So moving on, I will be giving you a comprehensive list of Nigerian universities with full accreditation. Yes, so here are universities in Nigeria with full accreditation we first of all first on my list here we have the university of lagos in lagos state we have the university of calabar we have the university of Jos plateau we have the university of nigeria the enugu campus we have um, Pamo university of medical sciences in portacode we have madonna university lla we have river state university of science and technology in river state Eboin State University, Abakiliki, Imo State University, Oweri. We have Ambrosali University in Edo State. We have University of Benin in Benin in Edo State. We have Usman Danfodio University, Sokoto. We have University of Meduguri, Borno. We have Achivas University, Owo in Ondo State. We have Bayero University in Kano. We have Afe Babalola University, Adu Ekiti, Ekiti, Abia State University, Uturu Abia, Edo State University, Uzare, in Edo State. We have Enugu State University of Science and Technology. These universities that I just mentioned here, they have full accreditation to teach medical laboratory science. But now, there is a catch, and I will explain it to you now so here's the catch basically just because a university has full accreditation to teach medical laboratory science does not mean that they cannot have accreditation issues meaning that even if your school has full accreditation to teach medical laboratory science your school can still have accreditation issues meaning that there is a time frame set by council it could be annually biannually three years four years there is a time frame that your accreditation will last for meaning that by the end of that time frame you are supposed to invite council to your school to do a re-accreditation do you understand what it means it's like updating your accreditation status basically so what in essence i'm trying to say is that while the schools has full accreditation if you have it in mind to go to any of these schools, make sure you have an insider in the school, like a friend or some relative that is studying medical laboratory science in that school. So you can know how well and how fast they write their professional exams after their final exams and how fast they induct. Some schools take as far as one year 
to induct and they have full accreditation there are schools where students have graduated over two years now and they've still not been able to induct because they have accreditation issues there's a school that inducts within one month after one month of writing your professional exam to induct and there's also a school that i also know that inducts after like a year after you write your professional exam so it is very very important to note all these things that and i just like to add while i'm about to end this video because um earlier this month no this is october sorry in september <laughs> i wrote my professional exams and i passed my first professional exam so i'm officially a 500 level student you know what do you want to know where i specialized in should i tell you i'll tell you in my next video that's why you have to come back for my next video so please like this video share drop a comment encourage the girls so i can do more and i also want to thank you guys for the love on my last video that video is approaching 800 views now and i am so grateful the comments and everything has been so amazing thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys so much and i see you again